The lack of access to financial services leaves many small firms in a vulnerable position, particularly in the developing world at the beginning of the new year. To gain access to reliable, affordable and sustainable financial services, First Capital Group economist Milner Siboleka advised SMEs to plan in order to attract investors for more partnerships. Looking at the business aspects, uh, one can also go ahead to identify those areas where you can save and also areas in which you can uh, minimize costs. Uh, for example, if I'll just point one is uh, the aspect of uh, looking at the whole value chain, the supply chain, in terms of uh, uh, companies or SMEs that operate in the production space, uh, you get caught up in this uh, supply chain of suppliers and one has to look at that and maybe to say create strategic cost-saving partnerships with your suppliers. Siboleka also encourages SMEs to budget in order to sustain their businesses throughout the year. Having a budget, it will require you to prioritize those spending needs and then and, and really have the much needed that will sustain the business going forward. And also remember that you can only measure the progress when you have a plan, when you have some targets, when you have an outline of what you intend to do to achieve your goal. Business operators with whom the NBC team spoke to are however optimistic about this financial year, saying the best way is to budget and save. Yes, that's why I'm saying it helps because I can fulfill all my needs. I have equipment and materials and all the tools to support my business. I believe because of the, the, the budget that I have, it will go through. It will go through because normally you have to budget for if the business is not doing well, you, you must have somewhere to go to help your business. SMEs play a big role in national development by creating employment, contributing to domestic and export earnings, as well as reducing poverty. For business today, Franklin Muningirwa Vantuk.